Morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give glory to God our light and our life. O come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship and praise. Psalms for today. Psalm 78, 1 through 39. Sounds extensive. <clears throat> and it is extensive. <laughs> Here we go. Hear my teaching, O my people, and quiet your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times, that which we have heard and known and what our forebearers have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord and the wonderful works God has done. The Lord gave a decree in Jacob and established a law in Israel, commanding our ancestors to teach it to their children, that the generations to come might know, and the children yet unborn, that they in their turn might tell it to their children, so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep God's commandments, and not be like their ancestors, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The people of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in God's law. They forgot what God had done and the wonders that had been shown them. God worked marvels in the sight of their ancestors in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan, splitting open the sea and letting them pass through, making the waters stand up like walls, leading them with a cloud by day and all the night with a glow of fire, splitting the rocks in the wilderness, giving them drink as from the deep, bringing streams out of a rock, making them flow down like a river. But they went on sin sinning against God, rebelling in the desert against the Most High. They tested God in their hearts, demanding food for themselves. They railed against God and said, Can God set a table in the wilderness? True, God struck the rock, the waters gushed out, and the torrents overflowed. But is God able to give bread or to provide meat for this people? Hearing this, the Lord was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger mounted against Israel. But they had no faith in God, nor did they put their trust in God's saving power. So God commanded the heavens above, the clouds above, and opened the doors of heaven, raining down manna upon them to eat and giving them grain from heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. God provided for them food enough. The Lord caused the east wind to blow in the heavens and powerfully led out the south wind, raining down flesh upon them like dust and flying birds like the sand of the seas, letting them fall in the midst of the camp and round about the dwellings. So the people ate and were well filled, for God gave them what they craved. 
But before they had satisfied their craving, while the food was still in their mouths, God's anger mounted against them. God slew their youngest men and laid low the youth of Israel. In spite of all this, they went on sinning and had no faith in God's wonderful works. So the Lord brought their days to an end like a breath, and their years in sudden terror. Whenever God slew them, they would seek God and repent and diligently search for God. They would remember that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. But they flattered God with their mouths and lied to God with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast, and they were not faithful to the covenant. Yet God, being merciful, forgave their sins and did not destroy them, holding back anger many times and not giving way to wrath, remembering that they were but flesh, a breath that goes forth and does not return. You can pause the video here if you want and add in a song of your choosing. The reading for today, I'm going to read um, a bit from yesterday as well. This is the parable of the sower and the seed. From the Gospel according to Matthew. A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came up and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they had not much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell upon thorns and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Then the disciples came and said to Jesus, Why do you speak to them in parables? And Jesus answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to the one who has will, more will be given, but, and they will have abundance. But from the one who has not, even what they have will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing, they do not see, and hearing, they do not hear, nor do they understand. With them, indeed, it is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, You shall indeed hear, but never understand, and you shall indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their eyes are heavy of hearing. Their ears are heavy of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should perceive with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn for me to heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Jesus said to the disciples, Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in his heart. That is what it was sown along the path. As for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, yet has no root in themselves, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. As for what was sown among thorns, this is one who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the delight in riches choke the word, and it proves unfaithful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is one who hears the word and understands it. They indeed bear fruit and yield in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> you have been born anew through the living and abiding word of God. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. 
Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Gracious God, we pray for all the world in need. We pray for the church, that it may be faithful in following your way of love and mercy, forgiveness, peace, and hope. We pray for the people of the world in need of healing and reassurance and kindness and community. We pray for representatives and leaders, for wisdom, for understanding, for willingness to work together for intent to build community. We pray for scientists and doctors and caregivers. We pray for perseverance. We pray for creativity. We pray for joy. We pray for good research. And we pray for all those we have not named but who are still in need and you know their needs. We pray for those living on hospice. We pray for those nearing death. We pray for those who grieve. We pray for those living with anxiety or any kind of mental illness. Give us the peace that we all need. Give us hope. Give us faith. Give us love to unite us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things and whatever else you see that we need, grant us, gracious God, for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from, all, from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Have a beautiful day. Peace be with you.